Happy to see you here on my channel Higher Mathematics and today let's solve this really interesting equation a plus 2ab plus b equal to 8 and we need to find the thumb a plus b. How can we do this? First of all let's rewrite this challenge right here. So what do we have right here? We have a plus 2ab, here's our challenge, plus b equal to 8. And right here, let's factor from this expression right here. We have a sum a plus 2ab. Let's factor 2a. Okay, let's do this. So what do we have right here? If we factor 2a from this expression, what do we have inside parentheses? We have what? We have 1 half because we factor in a, we factor in 2a, and plus right here, what do we have? We have only b. Okay, only b. And we have we still have this plus b and equal to equal to 8. Okay, here's our equation after first step. We factor in 2a from this expression. What are we going to do next? Let's add to both sides, let's add one half. Let's do this. So what do we have right here? We have 2a inside parentheses, we have one half plus b, and we just plus b and we add to both sides we add one half so plus one half on the left side so right here we add one half and we add one half to the right side so we have eight plus one half it changed nothing generally because we do this on both sides we change right here one half and we change we add right here one half okay if we look closely right here we have one half plus b and right here we have b plus one half because of addition we can easily change position a little bit right here so we, let's write this as b plus one half so what do we have right here? A, 2a. Inside parentheses we have b plus one half. Okay? And right here we have plus, and we can also take this inside parentheses. We can also write it as b plus one half. Because of addition, we can easily do this. We can easily take this inside parentheses. And let's add 8 plus one half. We can also write it as a fraction. So with the common denominator, what do we have? We have 16 half plus one half, which is equal to. 17 half. Okay, we add our numerator. So 17 divided by 2. Okay, I hope you understand this step. I hope you understand until this moment. Because right now this is a really great approach. Because if we have b plus 1 half right here and b plus 1 half right here. So we can easily factor this b plus 1 half. We have absolutely the same expression in both expressions. Because we have one expression right here. We add another expression. So if we factor, we can easily do that. Because we have the same expression on both sides of this plus. Okay, so what do we have right here? b plus one half okay this is our first parenthesis b plus one half and in second parenthesis what do we have right here 2a and from here we factor all of these things so we have only one okay so we have 2a 2a plus one and equal to 17 over over 2 okay 17 over 2 right now what i suggest to do let's multiply both sides by 2 because right here we have not a great value we have 17 over 2 this is our our fraction but if we multiply this by 2 we will get right here 17 so this is really great but we also need to multiply our left side so what do we have right here we have 2 so we multiply this 2 by b plus 1 half and times 2a plus 1 to a plus 1 which is equal to 17 okay 17 right here because we cancel these two and these two and if you look closely a lot of students make this mistake right here because mm, they multiply two by this parenthesis and two by this parenthesis so they multiply two like two times right here but we also can multiply these two by only this parenthesis so we don't need to multiply by this one also yeah we only multiply it by first parenthesis this is better for us because right here we have fraction so it's better for us to multiply these two by one half and we we'll get one okay so as a result what do we have right here if you multiply this 2 by this parenthesis we have what 2b 2b plus 1 and times 2a plus 1 equal to equal to 17 okay really great really great and i want to mention one really interesting moment so first of all what do we have right here we have a product of two values first expression this is one value doesn't matter uh, what is equal to we have a first value and the second value we multiply this value and as a result we have 17 but one really interesting moment 17 is a prime number is a prime number so it implies that 17 can be written only in two cases only in one case as 17 times 1 as 1 times 17 as also negative we can do this okay let's do this also with negative sign because we solve this completely we solve this question generally so we have the first case 17 times 1 because of a prime number we can also express this only like that we can also swap position because 17 times 1 and 1 times 17 is absolutely the same thing and we can also write with with a negative solution let's do this so we have minus 17 and minus 1 and we have minus 1 
and minus 17. So this is all expression that we really need right now. So let's find every of these of these cases. So for example, let's start right here with 17 and 1. What do we have right here? Well, let's let's separate right here. Let's write something like that. And let's separate. So first of all, 17, first parenthesis 17, and second parenthesis 1. What do we have right here? 2b plus 1 equal to 17. So 2b plus 1 equal to 17 and to a plus 1 equal to equal to equal to 1 okay from here what do we have what roots do we have in this challenge to be equal to so to be equal to 16 and right here to a equal to equal to 0 so as a result from here b equal to 8 and a equal to a equal to 0 okay this is our first expression that we really need so a equal to 0 b equal to 8 Let's solve another case, 1 and 17. Okay, so what do we have right here? Let's separate this, these parts right here and let's go with 1 and 17. What do we have right here? We have completely the same values but b equal to 0, a equal to 8. But let's, let's solve this. So what do we have right here? 2b plus 1, 2b plus 1 equal to, equal to 1 and 2a plus 1 equal to 17. Okay, let's do this. So 2b equal to 0 and to a equal to 16. From here what do we have b equal to 0 and a equal to a equal to 8. We can also solve a negative part. Let's do that. So this is our positive part. So when a and b is positive right here, so we have positive positive parts. We have two cases. We have a equal to 0, b equal to 8 and b equal to 0 and a equal to a equal to 8. And we can also write up a first solution because when a plus b we can easily find it. So because we need to find a plus b in the beginning. Okay, we are right here we need to find a plus b. So right here a plus b is absolutely the same. So a plus b which is equal to 0 plus 8 or 0 uh, 8 plus 0. So we have for example 0 plus 8 which is equal to 8. So our positive maximum a plus b equal to 8. For example, you need to find a maximum of this of this sum a plus b. So this is our positive maximum. But we can hold we also have a negative part right here. Okay, so we need to we need to solve this challenge in a negative values right here. As I told before, we have our negative part. So this is our positive part. We have also negative part minus 17 minus 1. So let's solve this right here. We, what do we have? We have minus 17 and minus 1 right here, minus 17 and minus 1. And what do we have right here? 2b plus 1 equal to minus 17 and 2a plus 1 equal to minus 1. Let's solve this. What do we have right here? We have 2b equal to minus 18 and b equal to minus 9 and right here to a equal to minus 2 and a equal to minus 1. So we solved this third case, so we solved this one case and we, we solved this one second and this first case. We need also solve this last case, let's do this right here. So what do we have right here? We have minus 1 and minus 17. Let's solve this. So what do we have right here? 2b, 2b plus 1 equal to minus 1 and 2a plus 1 equal to minus 17. Completely like mm, in, other, in other approach, but we have absolutely the same values, but b equal to minus 1 and a equal to 0. Let's check it. Uh, uh, 2b equal to minus 2 and 2a equal to minus 18. As you can see right here, b equal to minus 1 and a equal to minus 9. As you can see, we find all, all solutions. So positive right here and negative. For example, someone interested in negative part because a plus b in this negative part equal to minus 9 plus minus 1, which is equal to, which is equal to minus 10. So let's write our general answer to this challenge. So our answer, our answer, a plus b equal to right here what do we have 8 this is our positive this is our positive maximum maybe someone maybe you need on the question you find uh, the maximum positive uh, sum of this a plus b and also a plus b equal to minus 10 okay also a plus b equal to minus 10 this is our negative negative maximum 
Okay, this is our solution to this challenge right here. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So I want to say thank you for your support. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. I'm really grateful for this, for this, uh, thank, for this support from you. I really appreciate it. And thank you for your time. See you in the next videos.